As part of the process of mapping out your thoughts and reconsidering how you structure your ideas, reflecting on how you're using sources is an important part of the revision process. In our discussion of using sources, we'll be emphasizing a concept known as rhetorical moves. Although there are many possible rhetorical moves that we can identify, we'll be focusing on three main categories, grounding moves, extending or forwarding moves, and countering moves. When you first started to incorporate sources in your writing, in early research-based writing, you probably focused on grounding moves. We often turn to sources to authorize a claim that we have made, or to define a concept, or to illustrate a point. As such, you're probably familiar with grounding moves, and they remain important ways to use sources in your writing. Another set of rhetorical moves have to do with extending or forwarding the insights or techniques in a scholarly source. Borrowing and extending moves involve repurposing an argument from a source and applying it in a fresh context or in ways not intended in the cited source. Synthesizing moves involve taking two or more sources and bringing them together in an original way. Literature reviews are an important example of synthesizing sources, but it's an important part of other types of scholarly writing as well. Countering moves involve pointing out places where a scholar's argument falls short, or uncovering gaps or hidden biases in their thinking, or simply arguing against their conclusions. This can happen within the context of synthesizing or other rhetorical moves, and in fact, you will often be using more than one rhetorical move with, it, with a given source. Now, when you look at your idea map or summary of your paper, go through each section and specify which sources you use for that section and the rhetorical move or moves that you use to bring that source into your paper. All of this should point back to your thesis statement. All of the sources and the sections of your paper that they belong to are in service to the argument you are making to demonstrate your thesis. If you think back to the bubble map of your thesis and your subclaims, you should be able to identify which sources go with which bubbles, and the arrows should specify which rhetorical move is being used in that instance.